And you mentioned safe, and that's yes. one thing that we, we really pride ourselves on with this product is it's incredibly safe. Um, this all, is, all stems from organic plant stem cells. We have an organic uh, greenhouse in our lab, and so we isolate all the stem cells from organic plants, no hybrids, you know, no genetically modified organisms, and we build the cleanest product that we possibly can. Um, yes, it's, yes. So it's a GMP certified facility. We meet all the FDA requirements. Right. And safety was a very, very big important factor to us when you're talking about stem cells. Um, there's, there's a lot of buzz about stem cells. Are they safe? Is it safe to use? And actually utilizing plant stem cells, interestingly enough, uh, over the last 10 years, we've seen a lot of research come out about plants in medicine. Yes. And plants actually release really bioidentical factors uh, to us because everybody's like, well, how do plants control human cell signaling? And um, I always jokingly say, have we written penicillin before as physicians? Yes, of course we have, which is also from a plant. Yes. Um, and, but if we look at the biochemistry that's involved, really, um, plants produce bioidentical, um, you know, whether it's a cytokine or endocrine or proteins to our bodies. And that's because everything has DNA. Yes. So we all have DNA. The term, you are what you eat, you know, jokingly, it is very true. Um, every living thing has DNA, and DNA is a universal language. Yes. So what we did is we studied human stem cells first. And I was going to ask you that, because yeah. yours is very unique. It's not a human stem cell, which we would have thought, actually, that's more likely to be receptor than receive mm -hmm. by receptors, and yours is plants. No, ours is yes. plants. Uh, interesting enough, plants have actually shown their, their exosome, or extracellular vesicles that they release. Those vesicles are actually more readily absorbed by the human body than human stem cell extra vesicles are actually because of the, the membrane component of that vesicle is it carries a little bit different structure and so one it's more stable so it won't oxidize or break down right. the way humans uh, EVs or extracellular vesicles will mm -hmm. but the plant ones are more readily absorbed mm -hmm. and interestingly enough when we looked at human stem cells. Um, we studied them very extensively and you know we able to place them in a patented medium that we have that we can grow them in right. and um, we can really control their environment because stem cells are responsive to their environment. Right. And so if it's an inflammatory environment, stem cells release anti-inflammatory factors. You yes. know, if it's in a proliferative phase where there's an injury and we put stem cells, you know, into tissue or into a wound, it'll help, you know, produce tissue. Yeah. And so knowing that we knew that there's going to be different factors depending on the phase of healing like you talked about that we're in. So we looked at those different factors that human stem cells produce. Um, then we used plant and human stem cells together mm. to see if they would talk to each other. Oh, and sure enough, right. they okay. did. They right. produced identical factors together. Sure. Okay. And so then we knew that we could um, use just plant stem cells to produce those factors. Right. So based off of, you know, um, there's, there's decades and decades of data of really in Ayurvedic medicine principles looking at I which, gonna come to that. Yeah, yes, which exactly. different plants can, um, we've known in medicine for a very long time, you know, which different plants can, can really help stimulate and, and control processes in our body. So based off those principles is how we developed our proprietary blend of plant-based stem cells to really extract all the growth factors and signaling factors that we need that go into this product. Fantastic.